Hey y'all, hey. I miss y'all so much. And I'ma tell y'all right now, this vlog is about to be long because I got a story. Look at my baby. Okay, what's up y'all? Um, I really don't care about my appearance right now. Um, because, hold on, because I can't pick my coffee cup up with that on. Man, why you ain't got your tripod, bro? I'm Hold on, yeah, I don't, I don't know where my tripod at. Oh, there it go. So, I know that I know y'all like, damn, sis, where you been? So, I've been resting. Why have you been resting? Because resting is good for you, but no. I got into a car wreck, um, and I hurt my baby. I hurt my baby. I did. Um, I'm going to put y'all right here because let me tell y'all how I can't hold my hand up for a long time. Oh, look at them dirty uh, socks, girl. You struggling, ain't you? Yeah, I'm struggling every kind of way. Hold on, y'all. This is my mama. Hello. Hey. Hmm. Where you at now? I'm still at home. Oh, uh, what time are you leaving? I'm finna leave in a minute when I finish this cup of coffee. Oh, uh, okay. Why? What? What you mean? Bless you. What's my daughter if y'all got the call? Um, I don't know. I gotta figure, I mean, I gotta get your, I gotta meet Jalika. Well, she asked me if I was gonna be at home at two. I don't know. And what time? She asked me if I was gonna be at home around two. <laughs> but she. <laughs> Basically, in translation, my mama trying to go out to eat. She do that every time. Um, I need, every time she want to go somewhere or do something, she'd be like, oh, what you doing after that? Um, I need some pampering. So, not only is Mother Nature kicking all my ass, today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday the... 26 and I wrecked my car Saturday I to, um, October 23rd god damn girl memory finna be fucked I'm telling y'all right now my memory probably finna be more fucked up than I was but yeah so I hit a pole um, I was going to my friend Yoshiko's event and my eyes are super small right now cause I'm, I just woke up and I uh Exiting the freeway, riding down the feeder road. Um, basically, I swerved to the right. That's that's all. That's what happened. Um, swerved to the right, swerved and went left, right pole. Mm -hmm. Yep. Left on the median, bounce off. Right on the curb into the pole the light the steel light pole um so yeah but thank god i am okay i did not have a seatbelt on i did not have a seatbelt on and when i tell y'all i got a big fucking head i got a big strong head like my head put in it i'll insert the picture but my head put a big ass motherfucking spider web crack in the motherfucking car. Um, or I can, I'm going to the car anyway to leave and drop it off so I record it. But yeah, I'm talking about big ass. See, I thought I hit my head on the steering wheel, 
But um, no, nah, son, that ain't what happened. My chest hit the steering wheel. My head hit the windshield because I didn't have my seatbelt on. So when I impacted on the pole, I, I my body just went every which way. And apparently my head cracked the windshield. But as y'all can see, I'm scrape free. Scratch free, scrape free. That's why I said I got a strong motherfucking head because, baby, I should... Yeah, I should have at least a little cut. Here come Rodney. Um, babe, I'm vlogging and telling them about my sad car accident and how you've been taking such good care of me. Uh, what? How you've been taking such good care of me. No, you have been taking, taking good care of me. I don't know what he got going on. He just has no respect for my artistry. I said I was recording. You gonna slam? He gonna slam the door? Don't slam the door. I said I'm recording. You like you slam the door and I'm recording. I'm I'm recording. I'm recording. I'm all right. Man, he's so annoyed. Um, he's so annoyed. <laughs> he made me forget my whole train of thought. But yeah, so that happened. Um, I messed up my neck pretty bad. Uh, but now I can turn. I'm I'm okay now, y'all. When I tell y'all Sunday, Sunday was the worst. Saturday night, it was my head. Well, Saturday, of course, after the red, it was my head and uh, my neck. And my knee because of course everything on the left hurt because I went left no airbags nothing came out but my knee and my head was the two things that was hurting on Saturday the most and I woke up Sunday this right here all fucked up but uh you came in the house hello Oh, I'm, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't tripping, though. <laughs> That's why I said hello. <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, my God. He's so grumpy. I don't understand it. What you coming to the house for if you just gonna go right back outside? Like, Yeah, I'm, I, it's, yeah, it's time to go back to work. And I ain't even got no work to go back to. It's, <laughs> I don't even have, like, no real job to just, like, really go back to the office to. Um, but I can't sit here no longer. <laughs> I can't sit here no longer. It was so, I was like, oh, my God. It ain't, and it ain't even been but two days. Like, my arm still hurt. <laughs> it, all this right here is still, it's still fucked up. Um. It's just not as bad as it was. Again, on top of Mother Nature ruining every bit of my motherfucking life. I hate it. So, I'm telling y'all right now, I ain't doing my hair. I ain't doing nothing. This is what I look like. This is what I look like. But, uh, I'm glad they have gotten out of that neck brace because I was tired of wearing that motherfucker. Uh, I could finally sleep decent. Because that first, I can't, I got to sleep on my left side and I couldn't sleep on my, I still can't sleep on my left side and it drives me crazy. Um, but that first, I, I had to sleep on my back. First of all, I couldn't go to sleep for some hours because of a possible light concussion uh, from hitting my head. So I had to stay up until like one o'clock in the morning. Then Drill Sergeant Rodney over here, he wouldn't let me be great. Um. Hold on, y'all. Oh, uh, I'm back. Um, he wouldn't let me be great and go to sleep or nothing. Bad. He wouldn't let me move. I couldn't get up. I couldn't get out of bed. Couldn't do nothing. Cause y'all know me. I'm over here, neck brace and and bandaged up knee, 
trying to fold clothes, wash clothes, wash dishes, just do anything. Clean up the house, and he just was like, can you please sit the hell down? And uh, Christian came and brought me some food and helped me out. Then my cousin Ashley came by Saturday to check on me. Once she realized I was okay, she started laughing and putting me on on the social medias as usual in my neck brace. Um, but, yeah, that's what that was. Um, and I have to go more into the, like, the, uh, the other meaning to me behind the car accident. Once I get in line with what I feel like it was. Uh, I feel like I know what it was. Other than, obviously, me being reckless. And Houston being raggedy as fuck. But I feel like it was a reason. Yeah, I feel like it was a reason, so. Um, I'm tired, y'all. I don't know if y'all can tell or not, but pretty sure y'all can tell how tired I am. Um, so, that's where I've been, but, ooh, and I'm mad because I didn't completely threw it. I didn't completely miss the Vlogtober. I've been slacking on my many motivations. Man, I'm mad. <laughs> I'm so mad. Like, why though? Like, but I'm I'm finna get back into it. Cause I'm bored, y'all. I'm bored as fuck. I'm not meant to sit still, and I think that's what the issue is right there. That's the fuck why it, I got sat down. <laughs> I got sat down because I don't know how to sit down. So I got sat down. Um, yeah, that's gonna be a good one. Uh, once I wake up and fully think about it, that's gonna be a good one. But uh, yeah, I don't really have much else. So I'm gonna go and I just really hurt my neck when I turned like that. I just didn't. I didn't respond because I because y'all watching, but. Ouch. <laughs> it hurt. All this right here just hurt. Um, I gotta go get the rental car and take my baby to the shop now. So I'll be back to show y'all that part or get a little footage in the car while Rodney is driving. Um and get y'all a little outro, a little something, something. But I'm coming, I'm coming back. I'm coming back with full energy and well, I'm still gonna be like this because y'all know this is how I look when I wake up anyway. And it's and it's noon. It's 12. That means it's like 7 a.m. for me. So y'all know I ain't gonna even just be all the way up until 2 o'clock. So that's how you know I'm back. Cause I look like this. If I got on here smiling and and it's, it, be, it was 7 a.m. in the morning and I was happy and stuff, then that's how y'all know that ain't me. That's an imposter. That ain't me. That ain't me. Y'all report the page because that ain't me. <laughs> y'all, somebody done took my identity. That ain't me. Um, if I ever say it's 7 a.m. and I'm excited and I look excited and happy, it ain't me. Mm -mm. I'm blessed to see another day, thank God. I am grateful. I am. Very, very much so. Because that could have been way worse. And I know everybody going to say it. Put your seatbelt on. 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 It might as well just be a, a song that they put your seatbelt on. Put your seatbelt on. Put your seatbelt on. Put your seatbelt on. I'm going to put it on. I'm going to put it on. I'm going to put it on. Shit, I ain't got no choice. Hell, it's going to be second nature now. Every time I sit my ass in a goddamn seat. Nigga, give me a car seat. <laughs> like, do they make adult-sized car seats? Like, at this point, I want to be in a whole car seat. Like, I want to be secured. Like, I want, like, three buckles. Uh, like, I want I want a car seat. I need to be held. <laughs> While I'm driving. 
it's the mental part of it that's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard. Um, when I drive for the first time by myself, well, I don't know. I'm gonna try to vlog it because I'm still gonna vlog and drive. That's not gonna change. And let me tell you why. That has nothing to do with getting into a car accident. If anything, and you know what's yo, you know what's crazy, y'all. The two times my car swerved like that. Or it was either an almost accident or some sort of situation like when Gala, go back and watch the Gala Week vlog. Y'all will remember, I think it was like that Wednesday or some Tuesday, I almost got into a car accident that day. I wasn't vlogging. Every time I'm not vlogging, it's when shit happens. Because I always be like, damn, what, was I, what if I was vlogging? Like, <laughs> what if I was vlogging when I hit that motherfucking pole? Like... I'm never vlogging when shit happen, but it's like when you're vlogging, I don't know if it's, it's probably subconscious, but it's like you're more careful of your driving and of your surroundings. Um, you're not paying attention to the phone. So I'm never looking at the phone. If I look at the phone, it's for a quick second because the phone is mounted with the same place it would be if I was following maps. It's right there by the windshield. So... If I am looking at the phone, it's for a quick second, or I didn't stop at a light, and so now I'm talking to y'all. Most times, I'm not even looking at that camera. I'm looking at the road. Uh, but for some reason, vlogging seems to subconsciously make you drive safer. I don't know if it's because you feel like people are watching you or what, but vlogging is actually like really productive when you're driving. Because when I'm not vlogging, I'm rushing. And... Rushing got me in this situation, so. Yep, still vlogging. <laughs> still vlogging, that's still happening. So, I'm probably going to vlog when I drive for the first time. I got to drive the rental. It ain't got no car mount. Car, car, car mount. I know it don't. We'll figure it out. We're going to make it happen, Ken. Uh, but I'm out, y'all. I'm just sitting here bullshitting at this point. Um, I'm going to do a mini motivation. It's just going to be uh, like this. <laughs> I'm going to wake up a little bit first. Then I'm going to hit y'all with one. But, yeah, let me wake up. Um, be grateful that you woke up another day. To see this video. That's it. Taking this dub. Like, that's officially how I'm finna just start, like, getting people. I'm finna just straight start head button people. Still call you Wanda. I'm gonna call you Wanda. Don't do me like that. I really don't. See, I, I didn't know. Ronnie pointed out the grease stain <laughs> from the one day I did have my edges done. And that damn puffball I had on, when I tell you that motherfucker, that puffball, it don't move. You understand what I'm telling you? <laughs> that mug stays, it stays secured on my head the whole time. Man, listen. The EMS people done put a C collar on me and everything. Like, then threw me around. It was still on my head. Because Christian was like, Lord, please don't let this puffball fall off her head and I got to pick it up off the floor. It didn't go nowhere. 
even when I took it off that night, I still had to like unravel it. Like that's the strongest goddamn puffball I ever see. It it withstood a lot of impacts. I feel like it may have had a little something to do with my my saving my head because it was big and it got this cushion. And that, that right there, you know, like how? But I don't got no. I mean, I'm not saying the puff ball hit the thing. I'm just, but you got, like, say for instance, my head was just like this. Or if I had, like, it was flat and I hit the window, it probably would have been a little bit worse. I'm just saying. It's possible. Still intact, nappy but still intact. I gotta drive this rental car. I'm not getting on 16. I'm not ready to get on the freeway. Can I start off on the streets first? You would think you don't want to be on the streets considering that's where you were when you were I know, but I was exiting the freeway. Like, I'm not ready to just drive fast enough to be on the freeway. Like, it's, it's too much movement around me. Not the first time I drive. I need to at least test my anxiety first. You don't have anxiety, so you don't understand. To realize how low I'm talking. All right. Maybe I just suppress it. And they, they can't fix my baby. These people need to call me back. Yeah, I, I can't believe this lady said November. I feel like she said the 18th. They gonna put the insurance on the back, uh, insurance people on the back burner. If I go in there with cash money, I bet you they got a spot. That's all right. This rental gonna, gonna I'm gonna keep it in, until uh, they fix my shit. Well, okay. I'll be back. Okay, I am Bizak. Um, I got these glasses on. Ooh, chill. So, it is Thursday. In the beginning of this vlog, it was Tuesday. I think. I lied. It was Tuesday. Yeah, my day is so thrown off. Oh my God. What is today? Today is... Today is Wednesday. <laughs> Sorry. And Rodney probably going to come in the door. So, that's happening. Um, but today is matter of fact, hold on, let me close it. Oh, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> close and lock the bedroom door so he don't come barging in it. But he gonna slam that front door hard as hell. Oh shit. Ooh, okay, I'm back. <clears throat> and y'all gonna see all this pillar. <laughs> and and books because I'm working in the bed, but I it's Wednesday. It feels like Thursday. Oh my god! But I did not get to finish vlogging yesterday because when I tell y'all yesterday was a nightmare. It was a nightmare when I got out of that car. I was supposed to go and drop my car off to get fixed and get a rental from Enterprise. Fail. I go to Enterprise first. First of all, we had to drive my car to the 
uh, Service King place and Enterprise because we went to go get the rental first so that we can have a ride back home. But <clears throat> I go to Enterprise, they like, uh, well, we can't give you a rental until Service King takes your car. No, backtrack. Service King couldn't take my car until November 18th. That's what we're not going to do. We're not doing that. I'm not waiting that long to get my car fixed. I pay insurance for a reason. And uh, we got to do better. <laughs> I'm not waiting that long to get my car fixed. I want my car back. Um, I have a job. I'm a mobile tutor. I need my transportation. And I don't want to be in a rental that long. Um, and I'm going to give you the reason why. But <clears throat> I go to Enterprise, they say, well, we can't give you the rental until they start working on your car. And I'm like, are you serious? Why nobody told me that before I came all the way up here? And so that stressed me out. And then she was like, well, go back to Service King or go up to Service King, see if they can take the car or whatever, or see what they can do. Tell them it's not drivable. You need a rental, whatever, whatever. I get in Service King. Now, mind you, this whole time, since I got into the car wreck, the physical pain came first, but the mental pain is what I'm going through now. The mental, emotional, all that. Because I can't do anything, and I don't like that. Like, it's, well, first of all, it's a traumatic experience. So, you know, you do have to go through that. Um, and while I did need this rest, uh, it's driving me crazy that I can't, I couldn't even go to the store. <laughs> like, I just needed some milk. <laughs> like, I just needed some milk. I can't focus to do nothing. I don't have the energy. I don't have, like, I hate it. I just hate it. Just, I don't feel like myself. And I don't have the passion to do anything. Like, I want to record and post videos so bad. But it's not in me. And I know it's like, sometimes you got to rest. Like, again, the, I feel like that was the message here. Is you need to sit your ass down. But at the end of the day, I'm a full-time entrepreneur. So if I can't work, y'all see these lights? They're not going to be on. If I can't go to work, these lights are not going to be on. Um, And, of course, I told the insurance people that, like, I'm a mobile worker, so I need my car, which means I need you to pay me for the money that I lost. <laughs> But it's like, I don't, yeah, it was too much. And I held it in. I, I, I wanted to cry, but I couldn't. Like, I just held it in, held it in. I was just really quiet and just kind of irritated a little bit. But for the most part, I was just quiet. Like, you wasn't getting much out of me. Like, I ain't really talked to nobody. I don't really want to talk on the phone. My mama come up, came over here. She just, it's a lot. Since a lot, I ain't been on no social media. Um, so when I went into the service king, excuse me, I don't know what happened. I think it's because I got frustrated between going back and forth with the insurance company, the rental car place, and the repair shop. I got really overwhelmed. Um, and I literally just in the middle of telling the dude what the issue was with enterprise, I just like bust out in tears. Like, I just started crying. And I was just like, I'm so tired. Like, sir. And he was just like, oh, my God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you need to hear? Sit down. Sit down. Do you want some water or anything? Like, are you okay? And I'm just like, yeah, I'm good. It just came out. And so he goes to help somebody else. And then the guy, another guy comes out. And he, you could tell they genuinely wanted to help me. But the fact of the matter is, for one, Honda's short on parts right now. Um, everybody has their car in the shop. Uh, it's Houston. I'm not surprised. But this place is really packed. And it's it's mainly insurance people use it, of course, because it's cheaper for them. So I was like, okay, this ain't gonna work. So I text the insurance representative or the, the insurance rep. I was like, nah, son, I can't wait till November. Find me somewhere else. And you need to talk to Enterprise and let them know I need a rental. Like, I, I need a rental. I cannot sit here with no car. Rodney's car is in the shop. 
both of his cars are in the shop now my car is barely drivable like i can't drive that car anymore i we made it on prayer to the damn rental place because one of my tires has a bubble in it and that motherfucking pop at any time um gratefully even though my car does have a huge dent on the passenger side like the whole passenger side is pushed in it didn't hit as far as i know any of the important parts like the radiator engine all that whatever's in the car i don't know shit about cars but i know it ain't leaking it ain't smoking ain't no lights on it's just the it's the body work um so thank thankfully it only got hit on one side but them tires yeah them tires fucked so i don't i you you need tires to drive <laughs> like i, I don't want to drive on them tires so at this point my car can't move no more and he was like, well, you know, I can call Hertz or whatever. Because I went to like three different enterprises and they was all short on cars. Because their enterprises are so short on rentals right now. I said, well, you're going to have to switch to Hertz or something. And you have to find me another body shop. Because I need a car and I need my car fixed. And at this point now, you're going to have to tow it because I'm not driving it anywhere. Again, I have insurance for a reason. Um, so he's like, okay, so they gave me another body shop that can take my car tomorrow, which is Thursday. Now, mind you, this was Tuesday, this was yesterday. And he was like, I'll call Hertz and get you a rental, which Hertz gave me the rental. They were going to give it to me yesterday, but it was already 4.30. I have to lift at this point. Uh, me and Rodney got to get up there and lift. Lift was like $50 because it's Houston and it's traffic time. No deal. Like, by the time I got there, they would have been damn near about to close. And then now I got to drive back in traffic. Nope, not doing it. Um, So I was like, okay, it's already even time. I don't need anything. We don't really need anything from the store. We should be fine. I'll come get it in the morning, which was this morning. So I wake up. And yesterday was just extremely stressful because at the end of the day, I still had to drive my car back home and nothing got accomplished. Like nothing but frustration and back and forth and i couldn't like it was just extremely overwhelming so of course i didn't record nothing nada <laughs> so um today comes and i go and get i wake up first of all i was up till five in the morning i just couldn't sleep i wake up me and ronnie wake up and go get the rental we lift to hertz like 30 minutes away and pick up the rental easy process first of all shout out to jordan okay jordan sis if you watching this because of course i gotta hear my youtube information and she got a podcast let me let me put jordan on because i i like jordan like she was a nice sweet black melanin magic and she got her podcast going it's called rants at the rent house and it's on apple spotify all that so i don't know if y'all can see that but yeah, y'all like can't see that. But anyway, it's called Rants at the Rent House. My girl Jordan. I, I like she. Um, so she helped me get the rental. I literally it took like 10 minutes. Like literally took 10 minutes. And the girl I talked to on the phone, all I'm gonna say is I'm almost positive she had the complexion for the protection, which I got from Natalie. Um, told me I had to pay the sales tax on the rental. Who? You got, you got me fucked up. <laughs> like, at this point, you got me fucked up. Because what y'all fail to realize is that I have a deductible to pay. Um, Yeah. I ain't working. I got bills. I got expenses. I got a Jamaica trip coming. Yeah. I ain't paying no taxes. That's, that's what we not going to do. That's what insurance is for. So, again, I called the insurance company. Told him they're trying to make me pay taxes. I'm not doing that. So he was like, no, you shouldn't have to pay taxes. Like, we're paying for everything. Only thing you have to pay for is a $50 deposit. Okay, fine. Um, Get up there and, again, shout out to Jordan. She was like, who told you that? <laughs> like, that's not true. Like, who told you that? And I was like, see what I'm saying? She was like, no, that's not, that's not it. You just got to pay the $50 for the deposit or hold it or whatever. Okay, cool. Bam. 10 minutes. We in the, we in the rental. So, we get in the rental, and I test my first time driving. 
And I know I said I was going to vlog my first time driving. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Definitely not. Um, because I had to test myself. And we were, if you in, if you live in Houston, then we were off of I-10, which is Katy Freeway, and like Barry Ashford. And I live by NRG. So essentially, I was 30 minutes from my house, which means at this point, I have to get on the freeway or it's going to take us an hour to get home. And I'm like, all right, I got this. So I drive home. Rodney's in the car, but because I'm, if, if any, if I get anxiety, I could pull over and let him drive. So ironically, I drive home. My anxiety is a little high but it's not too bad. Um, I was driving slow. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I was driving slow. Like, I was doing 60 on the freeway. Like, I was that person you probably could say. Um, and I made it all the way to the house. And so, um, well, I had to stop at Starbucks. Y'all don't know how good it felt to stop at Starbucks. Damn, I'm at 12 minutes. This is gonna have to be a long vlog. Um, so, we get home, and... I'm, my anxiety is okay driving, but I drive with my left hand. So even driving with both hands, mainly driving with my left hand. So my left arm and hand started hurting really bad. So I can't drive far distances right now. Um, Cause by the time I made it home, baby, that arm and that wrist, this whole area, it was hurting. Um, I'm still getting headaches. The headaches are still coming. But, and I always had really bad headaches, but now I just feel like they worse. Um, of course. So we get home. I did fine. Now we have to go run other errands because it's been literally like fucking, what, four days since I had a car. So of course I have things to do now. And so we went and ran another errand and Rodney drove this time. And I discovered I have way more anxiety in the passenger seat. Like, when I tell y'all my heart was in my stomach the whole time. And Rodney drives trucks for a living and tends to forget that he driving cars. So he drive a little fast. Now, granted, as far as like wrecks and like carefulness, like his instincts like are quick. <laughs> like probably way quicker than mine like i trust that he's not going to get us into an accident but at the same time i just got in an accident so at this point i don't care who i'm riding with i'm nervous and i just bust out in tears like i just start crying having an anxiety attack and he's just like do i need to stop whatever doing what you want me to pull over like what's wrong and i'm like no just keep going because half of that was anger and it was pissing me off because I shouldn't feel like this. Like, I already have anxiety as it is. So now adding anxiety on top of that from this situation is just completely pissing me off. Because now the whole, this whole situation just threw my life into a whole, just, that's a whole nother vlog. <laughs> like, it just, it threw me. And I was already going through other stuff, which is also in another vlog. So I'm just like, I can't. <laughs> like, I can't. So, we get to where we're going. He's like, do you want me to take the back streets home? Do you not want, want me to get on the freeway? Like, what? Because now we're in the middle of traffic at this point. It's traffic time. And I'm like, no, just, I'm going a, I'm to a just play a game. Like, I like playing uh, crossword on my phone. So, I'm going to just play crosswords on my phone and just not pay attention. I just, I can't look. So, I did okay. And we ran some more errands, whatever. So, I discovered... When we went, we just came from out to eat with my mama because she wanted to watch the Astros game, World Series. Um, but I realized, I said, I'm just going to have to drive. Like, I'm just going to have to drive because it's better for me to drive than it is for me to ride in the passenger seat. And I think it's because if I drive, I have control versus in the passenger seat, I'm putting my life in somebody else's hands. And that makes my anxiety higher. Granted, I just wrecked my car by myself. He wasn't in it, thank God, because he would have been in the passenger seat, and that's where the impact was. So I'm so like, I literally think about that. I'm like, I'm so glad Rodney was not in that car. But I was like, I'm just gonna have to drive. <laughs> and on top of that, I'm driving a rental. And so I'm not comfortable 
because it's not my car. You know, I you y'all know when y'all drive somebody else's car, it's like you're not used to it. So you really <laughs> like don't you don't you're not comfortable. It's like I'm not comfortable in this car. It's a Kia Optima and I drive a Honda Fit. So it's a little bit bigger. Y'all know if you watch another vlog, you'll see I have a side camera on my on my side uh mirror on the right side. So I could just hit the button and see the camera screen come up on my radio. So I can see my blind spot. I can see cars coming, whatever. Of course, this car don't have that. So now I have to get used to looking at a mirror. I ain't got no mirror on my car. So I got to get used to that. And I've been driving my car five years. So I'm not used to looking at no mirror. So I'm like, oh. <laughs> and the mirror was so small. It just felt so small. I don't know. Um, it's crazy because I feel like SUVs I can drive. But like the sedans, I, that's not really my thing. I know that's backwards as hell. But so anyway, I drove us home from the restaurant. Everything went fine. It was nighttime. I still did good. I got on the freeway. So, I think I'm okay with driving. Um, I probably won't vlog and drive until I get back in my car. Um, just because I, my car has the mount. I, I, in this car, I need to focus. Because if I fuck this car up, that's my ass. And I don't want to. <laughs> like, now I'm extra careful just because it's somebody else's shit. I can't deal with two fucking cars messed up. And... Again, if I do ride passenger, I will, like I did in the previous clip. But for the most part, I don't think I'm going to be riding passenger. That's not happening. Um, Because speed racer. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> it's not happening. Um, So, yeah. I mean, that's pretty, today was a lot better. Today was a lot better. It wasn't that stressful. Hertz made that real smooth, real simple. My car is going to the shop tomorrow. I really hope my baby is not in the shop for a long time. Like, I want my car back so bad. And that's why I'm like, be grateful. I know it's it's like materialistic. And of course, I'm, you know, grateful that I'm here. Because cars can be replaced and I can't. I do know that. I'm very well aware of that. So, again, thank God that I am still here. Um, but at the same time, I love my car that Vicky is my baby and it, I have sentimental value to that car. And it's, it's because when my grandmother died, I took the money and I bought that car and that's why it's called Vicky. So it's essentially like the last of what I had as a connection. I know it's like, damn, it's just money, but it's just, you know, that's what I did with it. Like I, she wanted me to have a new car before she passed away. And that was it. So my Vicky is my baby. And the stuff that we have, that we work hard for, that we pay for, it's, I mean, it's ours. We have connections to it. That's just like our home. Like, you know, the stuff that we buy that's not frivolous stuff, but most of the stuff in my house is literally has meaning to it. Like, for instance, this Mickey Mouse. I've been having this Mickey Mouse since the sixth grade. I'm 30. <laughs> Damn near. And this Mickey Mouse has been through everything. My ex, my first boyfriend who passed away, rest in peace, Earl. But he bought me this Mickey Mouse when we was in sixth grade. And this Mickey Mouse, when I tell you, has been through it. Every part of my life that y'all that y'all have seen, heard about, all that, this Mickey Mouse literally was there. Like, I remember being a teenager, wiping my tears with these hands. Like, I know y'all like, damn, that child is just fucked I don't care. <laughs> like, I literally, this is my my baby. And it's been through so much. Look, look at him. Look at him. He flimsy. Look at him. Look at his ears crooked. Like, he done been through hell. But it's like stuff that we have sentimental value to. Like, it's a blanket over here that belongs to my grandma. So, I'm a very, like, person, sentimental person. I don't even know how to describe it because y'all know like, the head ain't right. But y'all get the point. And I want my car back. <laughs> I just want everything to go back to normal. But I am resting because everybody like, girl, if you don't get some rest, I am. Because I've been watching H... Let me tell y'all something. I've been watching HDTV. And I like... First, first I was watching Bargain Block. And then I started watching uh, 
the the Reynolds something I can't think of the name of it, but the the girl uh Carmion Hamilton I want to say is her name is from Memphis, and then now I'm watching Love It Listed, like I'm on a Love It Listed binge. It's time for me to go back to work. I'm definitely one of them HGTV uh interior design house renovation type people now, and it's causing me to want to redo my whole apartment. And I may have went to Home Depot to get some paint. <laughs> but I was always gonna do that anyway. But it just kind of was like, oh, let's go paint the dresser. Um, yeah, it's time for me to go back to work. <laughs> I'm turning into one of them. I feel like a stay-at-home mom <laughs> with no kids. Um, except a big one, a grown one. <laughs> but it, I'm I'm childish. As y'all can see, I miss recording. Like I miss vlogging so much. Um, but Nevertheless, I will keep y'all updated. I don't want to sit here and just ramble because um, I do have work to do. Um, but I will keep y'all updated on the process. I had some videos I recorded previous, uh, prior to the accident that I'll probably release. I think I did two reaction videos after the one me and Ronnie did. So um, I'll probably be posting those. So if y'all see those, then it's like, all right, this was pre-accident. Um, but I will keep y'all abreast on what's going on. Um, and that's all I got for y'all right now. I miss y'all. Because I got so used to vlogging every day for Vlogtober that it's like going this long without recording and without posting. It was just like, oh my God. That's how you know you're passionate about your YouTube channel. Like it just didn't feel right. <laughs> like life just wasn't, it, it wasn't right. It's like, I need to record. I need to, again, it's therapeutic. Remember I told y'all that? But I need to talk to my people. Whether y'all watch it or not, I don't care if it got six views. There's six people I'm talking to. Um, So it had to happen. And I need to, I got to get back in that flow. So, yeah, that's all I got. And y'all be safe out here. Y'all pray for me as I pray for y'all. And love life. Love life. That's all I can say. But yeah, we got some more vlogs coming. I got some. I got some stuff for y'all. I got some stuff for y'all because y'all know I'm a transparent person. But I got some stuff coming. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you stay tuned. Okay. I love y'all. Bye.